being happy with the person you are. Discovering your strengths. Having confidence and not caring what other people think. Beauty radiates from within. Inner beauty leaves people happy to be in your presence. When I hear the word beauty, I think of... When I hear the word beauty, I think of someone who has a beautiful radiant neshama. Uh, someone who really cares about others. Chaim. It's caring, it's understanding, it's empathy. Just being yourself. Someone that is happy and confident is beautiful. Doing acts of kindness with each other. I guess happiness. I think somebody is beautiful when they smile, when they're happy, and when they're confident in themselves and how they feel and look. The way they act, the way they behave. Um, I think if somebody smiles a lot, if somebody is kind, if somebody has a nice demeanor, then that demeanor comes through and the person is beautiful. Inner gets kite. Someone who people look up to not for their appear outer appearance, but for their action and how they act towards people. When I see people acting beautifully, acting um, with a certain chain, um, that shines through. I don't think of outer beauty. I think of someone who walks into a room and there's something about that person that you just can't pinpoint. I, I do think of beauty in creation, but also the ability that Hashem has given us to create. When I, when I hear music or I see art and I, I think that, wow, that's, that's, that person really showed such beautiful talent. Sometimes you can look at a person from the outside and say what an attractive person they are. But once you get to know them, they take on a different persona and a different look. And they exude a certain personality. If they are a pleasant, sweet, kind person, there's a beauty that comes out from within. You can know someone who's not so pretty, and when you get to know them, and how sincere they are, and how motivated they are, and how confident they are, they just become so much more beautiful to you. I think sadly, in our society, a lot of times people hold by what the media says is inner beauty, but I think who truly sets it is yourself. You decide what you think is beautiful, you decide what you think is beautiful in other people, and we shouldn't really pay attention to what other people tell us, because at the end of the day, it's your opinion that matters about what you think about yourself, and it's your opinion that will change how you react to other people. Beauty is in the eyes, ears, and hearts of the beholder. So I think what really determines who's beautiful um, isn't necessarily what others think. It's really how a person themselves themselves portray themselves and how they feel about themselves and that inner beauty can really come through. Each one of us has our own um, sense of what's beautiful, what we look at. We each have our own reactions to what what gives us that feeling inside that that, that looks really nice to me or that doesn't look nice to me. So I guess each person individually has their own sense and should feel um, comfortable with their own sense of what, what their beauty is. Outside of my family that I could think of that emulates true beauty is someone that I know that has gone through many, many struggles in life. But she had a daughter that was sick and passed away. She had a husband that was sick. She has a sister in law that's sick. And throughout everything, I think every time I see her, she's looking for something to do for someone else, looking for something to do to help someone else. She always has a smile on her face. She's always stopping and thanking Hashem for each and everything that she has in her life. And to me, that's true beauty. Someone that can appreciate everything she has and just give over everything that she has to everyone else. When I look at my granddaughters, I see beauty in each and every one of them. Each one has an inner beauty that's so special that there's almost a sense of, oh my gosh, I wish I could be just like them. I think my friends are beautiful because they're always um, active and doing things that make them happy and they're always reaching out to people and they're always looking for ways to grow and be better. I think it's genuinely knowing what you believe in and what you stand for and living up to those despite what friends often want to make you think and believe in and it's not easy, and I think that's even superly for teenagers why you can really pick out a beautiful girl from the crowd because teenagers so often try to prove themselves to other people and it's very clear, 
but it's also very clear that girl who, who can stand against the tide and not care about what other people think and really lives up to what she knows for herself to be right by her own standards. And I think if you were to ask people in the grade who is really beautiful, my guess is that most people wouldn't necessarily choose a pretty face, but would choose someone who inside and out, but really inside lives up to what they, what they believe in. Inner beauty is when you really feel a connection with your soul and that it's a harmony. It's, it's, yeah. it's a harmony that just gives you this menuchas hanefesh within you that I think radiates a not only inner beauty but an outer beauty as well.